How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and we're taking a look at the Koenig XB16 tire chains on our 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. Now, the reason that you're gonna wanna add tire chains to your Bronco Sport is it's gonna give you additional traction when you're uh, out on the road and you're encountering ice, snow, sand, mud, anything that's gonna affect your traction. And these types of chains, like the diamond pattern, is what's gonna help you as you go down the road. Uh, in general, having something that's assisted tensioning is going to allow you to get a lot of that slack off of the the uh, out of the chain to keep it nice and tight, so you can keep the chains where you need them right on top of your tread. Our chains are constructed of manganese nickel alloy, and essentially what that means for you is corrosion resistant and hardened, so it's going to bite into the ice and give you really solid traction going down the road. The diamond pattern is like, this is your point right here, uh, this is going to give you more contact on the side of your tires. So this is going to be really helpful when you're going down windy roads to help you stay stable with turning or maneuvering the vehicle. As far as the thickness of the links, these guys are pretty beefy for the size of the vehicle uh, as far as your clearance that's going to give you get you in pretty tight back here but everything is moving freely where the wheel was not going to make contact with that additional space now as far as what's recommended for tire chains you should want to check with ford to say what they suggested i just want to give you an idea of how well it does fit on this front axle one of the things that makes this set really user friendly is the assisted tensioning system Everywhere that you make contact is actually labeled by being red. The gray powder coating uh, is gonna give you a little bit of extra measure of protection against damage to your wheel, as well as a, a small amount of insulation against the cold. Uh, as far as everywhere that you're making connections is really easy to identify because all your hooks and loops are all gonna be red. So right here at this front connection, all the way going down to our tensioning device that's gonna help you tie down. So you just pull back and it loops on really easy. So as far as the install on this, this is gonna be one of the easier ones. And the case that it comes with is really nice as far as taking up space in the vehicle and being durable. The tire chains are gonna arrive in this case here that I think is pretty solid. Uh, it's hard plastic and it also has an included uh, plastic mat for you to get down on the ground because you do have to get on the ground to make that initial connection. Uh, having a set of gloves in the case also are gonna help keep your hands nice and warm while you're trying to work with your chains. Uh, as far as the space, it's really narrow so it fits into the back of your cargo area really easily. In the rear of the vehicle, you're already aware you don't have the most cargo area. However, the box itself can be placed to the side, minimizing how much space it takes up. And that's actually going to take up less space in the back of your vehicle versus some more cost effective options like the bag that comes with the, I would say the, the roller link chains, the steel roller links. That bag takes up about twice, twice the space as this case in here. If you've never installed tire chains before, this is a great item to learn with because it's super user friendly and everything is color coded to guide you through the installation. So let me show you how to get it done. We're going to start our installation by laying our chains out on the ground, making sure that there's no twisted links and that the hooks on our cable are pointing towards the ground. We also want to make sure the yellow tab is going to go for, towards the front of the vehicle. And we're going to go with this split right here and then slide everything underneath. So, I found that keeping everything flat is going to keep everything from getting tangled or stuck behind the wheel. And once you get it over, you're going to grab both ends of the braided cable and make your connection behind the wheel. From there, I'm just gonna try to align your chain around the tire and make that top connection. We're gonna bring the chains around the front. And we're gonna route our chain through our tensioner here. We're gonna give it a good tug. And then snap it into the plastic clips 
and connect the rubber adjuster. Now from here, I'm gonna go to the other side and put the chains on the driver's side. We're gonna roll forward a little bit and then make the adjustments necessary. The tire chains on this vehicle are gonna work well for most people's situations. It'll cover you for light snow to heavy ice and keep you on the road. If you were looking for something that had more clearance in the rear of the tire or possibly none, the K Summit is a great option because it mounts completely on the front of the wheel and there's nothing behind the tire so you don't have to worry about any clearance issues. But if that's not a huge concern because it's plenty of space behind the wheel well, this is a great option. So again, this has been a look at the Koenig XB16 tire chains on our 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. Have a great day.